Prince Harry carried out today his first public engagement in almost a month, while he and Meghan Markle have become the unwilling protagonists of a private jet row. Prince Harry headed to London today to attend the 118th Rugby League Challenge Cup final at Wembley, his first public engagement since July 25th. The Duke of Sussex smiled in the packed stadium as he met players and their little mascots wearing a smart blue suit with a buttoned-up white shirt and a grey tie. Prince Harry travelled to Wembley as patron of the RFL and Rugby Football Union RFU. The Duke took to his official Instagram account, Sussex Royal, to congratulate to the players. He said, well done to everyone who played in today's heat. Amazing performances from both winning teams, commiserations to St. Helens and Ireland. Whether you support league or union, or both, it's been a great day for rugby overall. Congratulations Warrington and congratulations England. Warrington fans, you were exceptional. Safe journey home to all. His wife Meghan and son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor were nowhere to be seen, leading to think they remained at the Sussex's home in Windsor, Frogmore Cottage. This comes as Meghan and Harry are in the eye of the storm following reports they travelled to continental Europe for two short breaks within just 11 days using private jets. On August 6, the pair took Archie Harrison on his first holidays abroad, as they celebrated Meghan's birthday with a six-day stay in Ibiza. And shortly after their return to the UK, they left once again on Wednesday last week for a three-day holiday at Elton John's home in Nice, France. These journeys produced 82 tons of KOTU, according to an analysis of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex emissions published by The Times. And across the past two years, Meghan and Harry are believed to have released with their personal trips taken with private jets a volume of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which would take as many as 1,400 trees 10 years to offset. Meghan and Harry's trips have been compared earlier this week with the way of traveling by Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. The Cambridges have been spotted getting on a flyby commercial flight to travel to Scotland. The couple were praised for their down-to-earth approach to traveling and for being more respectful of the environment than Meghan and Harry, despite their appeals to be more environmentally conscious. But flight records suggest Flybe may have sent an empty aircraft to Norwich just to pick up the Cambridges, according to the Mail Online. Speaking to the news organization, a source said, it's utterly extraordinary and makes a mockery of their family's very laudable attempts to travel more economically and in a more environmentally friendly manner. An additional 4.5 tons of carbon emissions were created simply to ensure that an aircraft with fly Britain on the side operated the flight with the royal party aboard, instead of the usual aircraft which flies the route. It's obviously not their fault but is utterly ridiculous. However, Flybe has denied this claim. A spokesman for the company said, Flyb denies any involvement in the decision over which aircraft to fly on this route, which is fully operated by Eastern Airways.